we Finnish people have also personal space. But we also go naked to sauna. Oh, hi, I didn't see you coming. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to my new channel. This is only in English. Yes, rally English, as we Finnish people would call it. If you know Mika Häkkinen or Kimi Räikkönen, who are the, or were the formula drivers, they used to speak very thick Finnish accent English, which I do also. So, sorry for that. If you don't understand anything, I can't help it. Um, my name is Esin and I do also ASMR videos, but those are in Finnish. And also I have my Instagram accounts, Esin Aamutuli and Seksikäs Lifestyle Tili, Seksikäs Lifestyle account. Uh, my personal is in Finnish and the other one is like mixed. Now going more towards English. Why I want to start making videos in English is because I'm so fucking tired of Finnish sociopaths who are always active on the internet. Yes, I'm so tired of them. You know that Finnish people are quite uh, quiet, but do you know what goes inside their head? Well, you can read it from the internet. There are so many crazy people and I'm so fucking tired of them. They are the most active people commenting things that you don't want to read because it's just like... Oh. Of course I have my great followers who are super nice people and have very good hearts, but always I also get these comments. And I don't say this kind of comments won't come to my these videos, but at least I'm speaking English. And most of those suckers don't understand English. So, oh, they do, but they don't, basically. So, I'm uh, knitting here my cute pullover. What is it called? Yes. And this channel is not about knitting, no. This channel is about my experiences about Norway. Because I moved to Norway, northern Norway, uh, for half a year. And I want to document kind of my experiences, my personal um, things, like how I have experienced things in Norway. And these are my personal experiences. These are not facts. <laughs> This is how I feel inside. So... Just to remind that no one has to write that, no, it's not like this, like those Finnish sociopaths would. We have to understand the difference between opinion and fact. And these are opinions, okay? Hi, it's me as in editing. Some of these are actually facts, but I'm also telling my own opinion. Of course, if I say something wrong, you can correct me. Now we got through about these things that annoy me a lot. As you can see, we can start. So, in this video, I'm gonna talk about things that have surprised me about Norway. Number one is that only Sami people can herd uh, reindeers. In Finland and Sweden also, I believe, have the same rule that anyone can herd um, reindeers. For example, me who has zero Sami blood. Actually, I am 1% Inuit, says DNA test, so I might have some Sami blood, but uh, I don't have uh, Samis in my close relatives, so... <laughs> anyway, in Finland and Sweden, anyone can herd reindeers. So, anyone who just wants to start herding them, you know, you can start. But in Norway, you have to have Sami blood, and I don't remember how close in Norway you have to have Sami blood and I think it's like your grandpa or someone or grandma has to be Sami or something like that so it has to be quite close in your genetics that you have Sami blood for example me I couldn't start herding um, reindeers in Norway <laughs> if I wanted to <laughs> But that's very nice because that supports Sami culture and also if we meet competition-wise because reindeers can roam freely 
or they have kind of areas but anyway they have more space for example to roam probably i would guess and also uh, when there isn't competition that much of course there is money goes to some people so that way it's good second thing is what i love about here tromsø i live so in northern norway in tromsø and uh there are minus 50 percent almost minus 50 uh tickets for uh, swimming hall and bus tickets public transportation there is only buses so no trams or metro uh, it's quite a small place but not that small it's actually perfect size but anyway there are buses and the buses run very often during daytime when it's not rush hour you get tickets for cheaper usually it's uh 39 crowns and rush hour ticket is 25 crowns so it's almost minus uh, 50 percent no no it's not minus 50 but anyway <laughs> it's cheaper and um a swimming hall there is very nice swimming hall called, called tromsø badet badet or baden <laughs> i always mix that and um it's usually i think like 180 crowns but during non rush non rush hour which is like 7 30 until 9 in the evening and then there is morning time also but i don't know what is it anyway that's uh 110 crowns so that's quite nice discount and i always go there during non rush hour because it's so cheap like it's a fucking spa Number three, the weather doesn't matter to Norwegians, really. They go running even though it's like raining this hard rock ice blocks. And I kind of like it because there is this mentality behind it, which we Finnish people don't have. Finnish people always talk that we have sisu, which means like the strength to go through like hard rock. I think we don't have that sisu anymore. I think um, what Norwegians have is sisu, but we Finnish people have lost it. But we keep on talking about it, that we have it, but we don't have it anymore. And the thing is with Norwegians, they don't care. They just dress up the right way. And that's the answer. And the mentality behind it is just like when you can go out when it's raining hard ice blocks, it teaches you also to be... Um, stronger in life and we Finnish people have totally lost it I have to say no sisu in Finland anymore and you can say about that about those sociopaths online they have no sisu they are losers I don't know maybe in Norway you have also problems with this uh, internet bullies but uh, in Finland it's it's very bad Number four is very interesting because they have different taxing systems inside Norway. And here where I live, um, it's Tromsø and some other area, I don't remember, <laughs> sorry. Uh, here they have the main tax, I think it's when you pay like taxes from your salary. But I think it you can see it also in the food price because it seems like it's cheaper than in Oslo, but I'm not sure. But when I have been in Oslo, I think food was expensier than here, but I just might remember wrong. But the taxing system is that in uh, this part of Norway, it's 18.5. When in other parts of Norway, especially, uh, you know, Oslo area and stuff like that, where people mostly live, it's 22%. So taxes are lower here. And that's quite amazing, <laughs> must I say. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's nice. That's also encourages people to move here, I think. And that's great. Like, this is how you make cities around the country and people don't only move in one place. Especially Oslo is super expensive. There are no rush hour tickets or anything like that. Or I haven't. Well, usually I've been there during weekends, but I don't think there are rush hour tickets even. Number five, this surprised me. Because we Finnish people don't like anyone to sit next to us in the bus. But usually it's okay if you want to sit next to someone. But the bus has to be full. 
Here I feel like people really don't want you to sit next to them. Even though the bus would be full, they keep their baggages, uh, backpacks on the seat. They don't want you to sit next to them. And I don't know, does this reflect a, like pandemic corona times? Or is it just that Norwegians have a lot stronger personal space than we Finnish people? We Finnish people have also personal space. But we also go naked to sauna. We are a little bit more open, I think. But maybe Norwegians have stronger personal space. <laughs> and this is very surprising. Apparently, if you're a foreigner, you can sit next to someone in the bus. So, I can sit next to someone. Except in Norway, people usually assume that I'm Norwegian. Especially when I wear pullovers like this, you know. But anyway. Thanks for watching and I hope you will stay as my subscriber. If not, it was nice that you came this long way. <laughs> and I promise these videos will become better. I just have to kind of open my voice and uh, learn how to correlate and blah, 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 you know. <laughs> Thank you and bye.